Hi and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the Wood Builder with the plus add-ons for Elementor and more specifically how to customize your mail account with all the fucking pages. So I'm going to walk you through all the different options so that by the end of this tutorial you will be able to design your own unique and professional looking pages and with those two widgets we can create every type of those pages. I'm very glad to be introduced with those widgets so that you can get step is to make sure that our widget is activated. So we're going to go to the plus settings, plus widget, type in woo, and we're going to make sure that woo order track is enabled. So this one here, make sure it is turned proper, click save, and then go into performance, and part or cache. Click OK, and that's it. And now that our widget is activated, we can insert it on an Elementor page. So scroll down all your menu section here and reach to the plus Woo Builder section. And right here, we have the Woo Order Track widget. So you can drag and drop it on your page. Or if you want to save some time and start with an existing layout, you can go to our demo page and you'll find two different layouts here. Select one of them. And if you hover on top, as you can see, it will reveal a copy button. Click on it. Go back to your Elementor page, create a new section, insert it, and then right click on it and select plus paste. And just like that, our order tracking page has been recreated. So let's have a look at our main section here. So this one. So as you can see, this is our Woo order track widget. And then we can choose among two different styles. So this is style number two, and then we have style number one as well. So maybe you keep this one for now. And then we have our extra options here as well. And from here, basically, you can add an icon to your track button. And for this, all you have to do is to install the Unicode from the font on some website. So let's go ahead with this. So you can select among all these icons here. So many of them, as you can see. And maybe we can look for something related to delivery. So maybe a truck. So let's go with this one here. Click on this. And as you can see, the Unicode is right here on top. So highlight this, right click, copy and then paste it here starting with the backslash just like this and as you can see now our icon is displaying on our button and now let's discover our styling options and the first one is the order truck form so let's change the background color so let's make it maybe a light purple like this and then we can add a little bit of breathing space all around it so maybe 25 pixels just like this and then we can change the border radius to match the outer section here so maybe 5px just like that and maybe you can even add a solid border, maybe one pixel. And we're going to select a very similar color, just slightly darker, just like this would be just about perfect. Next, we have the heading and description. So it's this section basically here. So let's click on this. So from here, you can change the font and the font color. So maybe you would prefer to have a thinner font. So maybe you can go with 300. And maybe you find it's a little bit too big or a little bit too small, so you can change this around and even change your color as well if you want it to. And the same with the label. So from here you can change the color. And then you can change the typography as well. So maybe you want this one to be thicker a little bit. And maybe you want this one to be underlined and maybe all in capital letters. And then we have our input field. And here, the first thing we can do is maybe change our background color. And as you can see, by default, it is completely transparent. So maybe you can change the opacity and make it white. And then we can also add a border as well. So we can add a solid border, maybe one pixel, and select the color. So let's go with the purple, maybe. And we can change the border radius as well. So let's add maybe five pixels. And then as you can see here, for our placeholder, we can select among two different options. We have normal and focus. And for this, let's have a quick preview. So basically, when someone wants to type something in this field, if they click on it, as you can see, the placeholder text disappears. But you can also change the background color and the border color. So let's do that together. So in normal mode, we have a white background with purple borders. And in focus mode, 
Let's go and change the background color so we could have a beige, for instance. And let's add a solid border of one pixels. But this time, let's select a different color. So maybe red, so it'd be easy to spot. And let's change our border radius to 5 as well. And let's have a quick preview. And now if we click on this field, as you can see, the background color changes, but the border color is in red. And clearly, this works for our two fields here. And then next on our list, we have the track button here. So this is our button right there. And from here, you can change the padding and the margin, as always. And you can change the width very easy by using this button slider. So you can make it bigger or smaller. So let's make it maybe this size. You can change the font as well. So maybe you want this to be maybe a little bit thinner, just like that. And of course, you can change the appearance of your button in normal and hover mode. And as you can see at the moment, our button is pink. And if I hover on top, it will be clear with just an outer border. And you can change these using those usual settings right here. And next on our list, we have the order info. And now for this section, we won't be able to preview it from the back end immediately, but only from the front end. And for this, we are going to need an order number. So go to your WooCommerce orders right here and select an order and get the ID. And then we're going to go to our Woo order tracking. We're going to type the order number here, which is 35529. We're going to type the email address that's attached to it, and then click Track. And as you can see, this is what our order review looks like. So our order info section here applies to this section right here, so this content here. So we can change this around. So as you can see, the main text is all in black. And then we have the highlighted text on a yellow background and a pinkish font. So we can change this now. So this is our main font, this is black. Highlight text color is pink. So maybe you don't want yellow as the highlight. Maybe you want this to be white. In which case, you're going to background type. Click on this, select white as your background color. And now if we have a look, this is what our order looks like. So as you can see, we've changed those colors. And then we have the order info heading title. So basically this is our section here. And for this one, you can change the color and the font. And then we have a product list and billing. So basically, this is the section here underneath all this section. And we can tweak this around as well. So maybe we can change the background color, maybe to a light purple. Maybe you can add a border as well, a solid border of one pixels. And then we're going to select a color. So maybe a darker purple this time for the border, just like that. And then we can add a border radius of 5 pixels. So let's have a quick look at what it looks like. So very nice indeed. And then we have the inner borders. As you can see in between, we have these gray dashed lines. So we can change this as well for the main content and for the total. So let's take care of this now. So as you can see, this is our section here, inner border and total border. So maybe we want to make them a little bit darker. So we're going to select a different shade of uh, gray. So maybe this one here. And we're going to do the same for the total border right here. And now let's have a quick look. And as you can see, this looks really professional. And finally, the billing and shipping address here as well. You can change the font color, the background color, border type and border radius. And if you wanted to, you can add a box shadow as well. Our very first step is to make sure that our widget is activated. And for this, we're going to go to the plus settings, plus widgets. In the search box, type in Woo. And next to Woo My Account, make sure this toggle switch is enabled, just like that. Click Save. And now we're going to go into the performance section. And we're going to clear the cache, so purge all cache, click OK, and that's it. And now that our widget is activated, we can insert it on an Elementor page. And for this, scroll down all your elements and look at the plus Woo Builder section. And right here, you have the Woo My Account, so you can drag and drop it onto your page. And if you want to save some time and start with a pre-made template, you can go to our demo page here. And if you hover on one that you like, you can see you have the copy feature here. Click on this, go back to Elementor, create a new section, right click on this section, and then select plus paste. 
And just like that, our My Account page has been recreated. So let's click on our section here. As you can see, this is Wu My Account. And from here, we can select among two different layouts. So we have the full short code. So basically, this is displaying all our sections here. Or you can select individual, in which case you can select which items do you want to display. And from here, you can easily add an item or remove it. And then you can choose among two different styles as well. So this is style number two. So basically, those styles will be displayed on the left-hand side of your page. And if you select style one, our tiles will display on top of our page. And if you selected style 2, you can also define the width of your left side column, like that. And next, we have our preview section here. So what is this section about? So let me show you first. Let's go into the styling features here. And as you can see from here, you can customize each and every aspect of your page. And since we have multiple tabs, which means that we have multiple types of content, you should be able to preview them as you customize your page. And this is why we inserted this feature here. So that way, if you're customizing the content of the dashboard, you can select dashboard here. If you're working on orders, you can select orders. And as you can see, now it displays a table with the previous orders placed on the website. You can select downloads as well, in which case it will show you all the downloads available. And you can do the same with addresses. And for the addresses, you have two types of preview. You have the default types, which is like this. And then you have the form. And then you can also preview the account details. And then if we scroll down a little bit and enable the login and register form preview, as you can see, they will display just right at the bottom of the page. And thanks to this, you can customize them as well and have a nice preview of what they look like in the front end. And then we have our extra options here. So basically, this is an option that will allow us to display those icons next to each tab title. So how does this work? Very simply, I'm going to show you now. So if you go on the front or some website, and from here you can select any of those icons. So there, there are plenty to choose from, obviously, you know, as you can see. So let's say if you wanted to select this one here, envelope, all you need to do is just copy and paste this unicode here. So right-click, copy and then paste it where you want it to be. So let's say instead of the download, we want the envelope here. So let's replace it here. Let's paste this. And as you can see, now we have an envelope. And our first section is the navigation. So this is related to our section here. Now at the moment behind our menu, we can see the shadow effect, which is clearly visible in between those two buttons. So maybe we can add a background color. So we're going to background type. And we might select a color a bit more subtle than red, maybe something like a gray like this. And then maybe we can change our padding. At the moment, we have 50 here on the right-hand side. So maybe we'll make it 10 all around, or maybe 15. And we can add a solid border all around it if you want to. We can make it one pixel in thickness. So let's change the color. So let's make it maybe a dark gray like this. And we can change the border radius as well. So in order to have a rounded edges, so let's make it maybe 15 pixels. Then you can even add a box shadow if you wanted to. And then if we scroll down, we have our inner menu option as well. And from here, we can change the margin and padding. So basically, that's the spacing all around our text here. So let me show you with just one of them here. So if you increase this, it will increase the padding on top. So let's go back to 25. And then you can define how you want to align your text. So it could be to the left maybe centered or to the right. And then we can change everything about the font, how it looks like. So we have the font family, the size as well. So we can increase the size or reduce it. We can change the weight, maybe a bit thinner. And at the moment, our text is transformed to uppercase, but maybe you prefer to have it capitalized like this. And then we can tweak the color. So we have the background color and the hover color, as you can see now. So basically, this is normal color, and this is the hover color. So at the moment, we have a gray color background. So maybe you want to change this to maybe something brighter, maybe white. And we can do the same in hover mode for our secondary color. So we can change our purple here. So if you click on this, we can make it a bit darker, in which case all of these will be changed to this new color. So let's keep it the same color it was before. And as always, you can also change the font color, add a border, and change the border radius. Next is the navigation icon. And from here, you can change the icon size. 
and you can offset its position as well so you can bring it closer or farther away from the text and then you can change the color in normal and active mode so in normal mode is basically like we have it at the moment so if i was to change the color they would all turn red as you can see and then we can do the same in active mode so our active window at the moment is dashboard so as you can see if i select red this one will turn red as well and then we have our content section and as you can see at the moment we have a shadow effect just underneath it maybe you don't want it in which case you can remove it just like that and maybe you want to change the background color as well so maybe not red but maybe a light gray like this and you might want to change the border radius as well to match this menu section so let's make it 15 all around now let's have a look at our order tab and all these features underneath but before we can have a look at this we'll have to enable the preview so we go back here and click on preview and here we're going to select orders there you go and now we can work on our preview tab so back here order tab so basically from here we can change everything related to this section right there so as you can see we already have a dark gray border all around it of one pixels so we could change this very easily so let me put a purple color instead just like that and then we can change the background color as well so let's go with a bright purple maybe so we we'll select a color maybe this shade would be fine and then if we scroll down our options here so we have our inner border option so basically if you enable this it will display inner borders just like this so it's really a matter of choice if you want this or not and then you can tweak your text here so you can have the heading option and the subtext option as well so basically our heading is this one so let me put in red so you can see exactly where it is and then we have our subtext option as well so let me put this in red now so this is basically the content of our order here and then we can do the same with our order number here so as you can see if i hover on top it will change color and you can change, change these settings right here so you have the order color number so it could be red for instance and when you hover on top it can turn black just like that and then we can tweak our button here so if we scroll down you can see a view order button option so all these options here are related to our button so we can change the color as usual you know color background and then you can change as uh, some padding all around it so if you want to add some spacing maybe you can change the size of the button as you can see you can make it wider or a bit smaller if you wanted to and then you can decide where you want to line the text so maybe to the left maybe to the right or maybe centered and you can even add a border all around it so let's select a solid let's make it one pixel and let's make it a darker purple maybe and you can even add a box shadow if you wanted to and this way your button will stand out a little bit from the rest of the content next we have our download tab and again for this we're going to go into content and enable our preview so we're going to select downloads and then back to our styling options here and then download tab and basically all the customization options here are the exact same as the order tab so you can add some padding all around the area you can change the background color we can add a border all around it and then we have our heading option so this is all our text here the subtext the product name op option as well and then we have the button you can tweak the button here as well the exact same way so again all these options here are basically the same as the order tab next we have the addresses tab and again here we're going to go into content and enable our preview so we're going to select addresses here and make sure that you select it default as well now we go back to style and then we're going to go back to addresses tab and from here we can tweak our section as you can see this is the preview here so let's start by adding a background maybe a bright purple like this now as you can see our text is literally against the left hand side here so maybe you can add a bit of padding so maybe 20 pixels all around it this will add a little bit of breathing space and as always you can add a border all around it so let's add a little border maybe one pixels let's make it about the same color just slightly darker like that and we can change the border radius as well so maybe you can make it five pixels as you can see now we have rounded edges and then we can tweak our heading option which is basically here where it says billing address 
and then the subtext, which is the content of our section here. And then we can tweak our edit button option. So as you can see, this is the, our button. So it doesn't look like a button at the moment. So let's change this around. Let me show you how you can make it look like a button and not just a hyperlink. So let's add a background color, so maybe white. We're going to add a little bit of padding, so maybe 20 all around. So let's maybe do it too big, so let's unlink this. And let's make the top 5 and the bottom 5 as well. And then we can add maybe a little border of 1 pixels. So let's make it 1. Let's select a color, maybe a bright gray like this. And then we can add a border radius of 5 pixels as well. And now we have a nice button as you can see. And you can do the same with the hover mode. So let's say if you want to change the font color and the background and the border color, you can have a nice effect when you hover on top. Next, we have our billing details here. So we have the shipping form, the shipping form label, the shipping form input field, the shipping form button, and shipping form all together. So for this, again, we're going to go back to our content section. And in the preview mode, we're going to select form. There you go. So this is our form, basically. And now we can go back to our styling options. And now we can have a look at our five different sections here related to billing and shipping. So let's start with our billing and shipping form heading, which is this section here, basically. So we can change the color. So let's make it red so you know exactly where it's located. So this is the heading. So from here, you can basically change the color and the font and add some padding all around it. So let's have a look at our form label. So our labels basically is first name, last name, company name, and all that. All the text on top of the input fields. And this you can tweak around as well. So basically of the color of the font itself. You can change the font. You can add some margin and some padding all around it. And you can see the asterisk here. You can even change that color as well. And then just underneath our label, we have the input field. So we can tweak this around as well. So we can go to the next section here. And by default, our active field will be surrounded by a proper border. But we can tweak this around in normal mode and focus mode. So we can change everything. We can change the background color and the border color as well. So basically, when you make any changes here, it will override those default settings. So for instance, if I wanted to change the background color, and make it white, I could select a different color, as you can see now, and I can do the same in focus mode. I could change the color maybe to a darker gray, just like this. And now if I go on top and click on it, as you can see, our color has changed. So let's have a look at our next section, and this would be the shipping button. So let's open this. And the shipping button basically is this button here that says save address. So this is our button. And from here again, these are the usual options. You can change the background color, the font color, and everything. So let's go maybe with the purple. Let's change the font color maybe to white. And you can do this in normal mode, in hover mode. You can add a border and change the border radius as well. So let's have a look at the next step, which is the shipping form. So this applies to our whole section all together. So let me show you by changing the background color. So if I make this red, as you can see, this is basically the whole section itself. So from here, you can add some padding all around it. So let's make it maybe 25. And as you can see, now we have a little bit more breathing space all around it. And this is how you can change and tweak this section. And that's everything about billing and shipping. And next, we have our account details tab. So for this, again, we're going to go back to content, preview, and we're going to select account details. And okay, we can go back to our uh, styling options now. And we're going to click on to account details tab. And now from here, we can tweak all these different settings in the preview that we have now on screen. And again, these are the main settings and customization options that we've already covered. So basically, you can change the padding, you can change the color of the text and the required symbol. So this is basically the asterisk here for all the mandatory fields. And then our fields here, input fields, you can treat them around as well. And we can change this in normal mode and focus mode. So well, let me quickly change the colors now for normal mode and focus mode. So just like that. As you can see, I've changed those colors now. And if I click on it, as you can see, the focus mode will highlight the field each and every time you want to type something else. And then you can do the same with the display name, the field set options, and the button option. So all these settings are roughly all the same as we've already covered. 
and then we have the login form, the lost password form, and the register form. So these are here at the bottom. Again, for this, make sure that you have this option activated. So back to content preview, and make sure this one is enabled. This one here. So this is what allows us to have a preview of those two sections here. So back to styling, and let's open the login form first. Okay, so here are all the options. And first, we have a form heading option. So let me show you by changing the color. So basically, this is our login and register text here. So this can be changed immediately, both of them from the, the login form. And everything else is customizable independently. And basically, from here, you can change the exact same as the previous items we saw already. You can change the label options, so basically username and password. You can change the input field in normal mode and focus mode. You can change the remember me option, which is basically this one here, the lost password option, which is this text here, and the login button as well in normal and hover mode. And in the front end, if you click on this link, it will open a new form. And this is where you can tweak all the settings. So basically, again, the same settings. You can change the heading, the label, the input field, and the reset password button at the bottom. Now we have all the settings and customization options for the register form. So basically, this is our form right here, this one. So again, you can change the label, the input fields. There's only one field, by the way, is the email address here. And then we have the register button, which is this one here at the bottom. And again, you can click this in normal mode and hover mode. Now we have the form box. So let me show you. So this is basically the whole bottom area. So if I change the background color to help you see where it is. So basically, these are our two sections, the background of our two sections. You can change them directly from here. And if you want it to add a bit of breathing space, a bit of padding all around it, it will apply to both sections at the same time. And since we are on the subject of sections, let's look at my account background. So this is basically the whole account page. So let me change this to red. So basically, this is our complete section here. And again, you can tweak everything from here immediately and add a bit of breathing space all around it. And as you can see, we now have plenty of space all around this section. And finally, we have our error message section. And this option, you can preview it from the back end. You have to actually preview it from the front end. So let's go, for instance, into account details. And then I'm going to submit this form without filling in anything, which should normally throw an error message. There you go. So this is basically our error message section. And now we can tweak this around from here. So the first option is our icon. You can change the size and the color. So basically, this is this here, our icon. You can change the error message text option. So the font, the color, and the hyperlink as well. So this is from this section here. So this is basically our text. And then we have the box content option. And from here, again, as usual, you can add some padding around. You can change the background color and add a border and even a box shadow. So this is basically our box itself right here. There you go, this is how you can fully customize your my account and all the tracking pages on your website. And you will agree that these are two very powerful widgets, fully packed with features. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. Again, my name is Dave, and it was a great pleasure to present this tutorial. Again, make sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you will not miss out on new videos after being uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.